Hi, I'm Craig Birch here for Talks and Tales with your weekly around the board darts bulletin. We're going to talk about all the things that are going on in both the PDC and the BDO over the course of the next few minutes and what we can expect going forward. We'll start with the PDC Players Championship over the weekend and uh, a double delight for Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson is in magnificent form at the moment and uh, less than a week after winning the PDC UK Open, his first televised major in quite some time, he was back at it again in the Players Championship where he went all the way to the final on Saturday and uh, he's been some good players on the way as well. I mean, there was a whitewash over Rob Cross as well. Rob Cross, the world champion, he's such great form of late. Well, he was no match for Gary Anderson in the Players' Championship on Saturday and he lost 6-0. Also a picture of a Peter Wright on his way to glory on Saturday. And Sunday he was back again doing the same trick. He went got all the way to the final again on Sunday where he faced the Dutchman Jeffrey Deswan and 6-2 he was the victor there as well. So two more ranking titles for Gary Anderson over the course of the weekend. It's been a real, real good eight days for Gary as well. And yeah, I suppose you could even forgive him the Premier League, of course, in Leeds on Thursday as well. Darryl Gurney took him to a 6-6 draw, but I think, you know, with the uh, three titles around that particular Premier League performance, that Gary Anderson will be more than happy with that, I imagine, over the next eight days as well. We move on now to the Premier League in Nottingham on Thursday for the PDC. Some real tasty tussles again coming up in Nottingham as well on Thursday. Gary Anderson this time will play Raymond Van Barneveld. Raymond Van Barneveld very up and down so far in this year's Premier League. But, and Gary Anderson will be a specific test of his metal as well. So Barney's going to have to pull something out of the bag to beat and inform Gary Anderson this Thursday in Nottingham as well. Michael Smith will play Peter Wright. Michael Smith, not the 100% record anymore, but and Peter Wright's been a bit up and down in the Premier League as well. He's certainly not in the position he would like to be in at this stage of the competition. But and that's certainly a game where both players are going to bring their A game or they certainly would want to do so. So that could be a real, real interesting affair. Simon Whitlock, Daryl Gurney. Daryl, yep, you know, the only man to get anything out of Gary Anderson over these past few weeks as well. He's, uh, he's now got Simon Whitlock, who's trying to get himself into the sort of form that sort him out of a 100% record in top Premier League standings not that long ago. So that could be another good one as well. Mendo Sulevich as well versus Rob Cross. Cross, uh, with the exception of coming across Gary Anderson, not so great for him in the Players' Championship over the weekend, but Rob Cross has been playing a hell of a lot better lately as well. So that could be an interesting tussle for them. Mendes Sulevich as well, he gave Peter Wright a real, real good idea in the Premier League in, in Leeds last week. He got 7-1 for Mendes. Mendes has been threatening that sort of performance in the Premier League and he certainly turned on the style against Peter Wright. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do this Thursday night as well. Gerwin Price been a real tough uh, baptism of fire really in the Premier League for Gerwin Price and uh, it's not going to get any easier when he plays Michael Van Gerwen on Thursday as well. Michael has not been uh, sweeping quite everyone away just lately but he's certainly going to be a, a test for Gerwin Price we would think as well. So yeah, real interesting weekend coming up as well, not just the Premier League in Nottingham as well, also players championship five and six. 2018 will be staged at Arena NK in Milton Keynes as well. So really getting into the nitty gritty of the Players' Championship as well. And I imagine they'll all be watching out for Gary Anderson again this weekend as well. On to the BBO, the Isle of Man Docks Festival took place this week and there were some real good stories to come out of this as well. A rematch of the World Final with uh, Mark McGee and Glenn Durant. Mark McGee, I think that's twice now he's exacted his revenge over does a since the World Championship. He's really got the bit between his teeth. He's probably still wondering how he lost at Lakeside with darts in his hand to win the match. If you recall, does even put his darts down, expecting to be beat. And uh, Mark McGeady lets him off the hook. Glenn Durant became a world champion again. And Mark's certainly not forgotten about it. And in the Isle of Man Open final, he beat Durant 4-3 as well. Durant on, he, but Glenn Durant is the, now the Isle of Man Open champion as well. So he beats, my veteran of five feet, but he fought himself as well. And another note with Ben Durant as well, hit one of the highest recorded averages on record as well in the Isle of Man. Uh, staggering 133.60 average against Mark Layton in the Isle of Man as well, but it's not quite the highest because, as we remember, Kyle Anderson won 3 4 8 4 in a Players' Championship match against Taylor Jenkins some time back as well, and uh, that's certainly going to take some beating, isn't it? Other tales as well, uh, the Isle of Man Masters Open, Japanese Day Parletta, he beat Way Warren 4 2 in the final. Um, Fallon Sherrick is now the Isle of Man Ladies Open champion with a 4 3 victory over Lorraine Wynn Stanley as well. 
Lisa Ashton as well. Lisa Ashton, very feared player in the BBO ladies' ranks. She's the she's the Man ladies' masters champion with a very close run, four three win over Lisa Hedman as well. And Ashton made it a double with the Isle of Man ladies' classic as well, a four 0 victory over Sharon Prince. And the youth final as well. Bo Gray, Bo Gray's is a, a BBO young player that Ed, a lot of people are excited about. He's a he won the Isle of Man youth title with a 3-0 victory over Jack Vincent as well. The Iceland Open is the next real, real big one for the BDO later on in the month as well. And they're all sunning themselves in Torremolinos at the moment. The BDO players are there. The next festival over there, Torremolinos Open. And after a day of heavy rain in England, I certainly, uh, certainly wish I'd gone to Torremolinos now with the BDO rather than staying here in the, in the rain as it was. But over the next few days, plenty to look forward to. We'll see you again about this time next Monday as well, where we'll talk over all the things we've just discussed and look forward to the week ahead on and off the hockey as well. I'm Craig Burton, we'll see you next time.